Yeah, our show went through a weird thing where we started breaking stories and doing the first season when, uh, with Obama still in office. So there was, and our show has a, obviously an interesting thing where it's talking about things that people of color talk about privately and then putting those things out publicly, right? Think conversations that we have you know, in, our, in our living rooms or with our friends that m most of the audiences, you know, of, of you know, certainly mainstream white audiences, don't ever get to be a part of. And then the election happened during our show. So a lot of our show in the beginning is a lot of people of color t wanting to talk about things that don't get heard, right? And talking about the way the world is and the way the slight, like the little like, uh, paper cut racism, as I like to call it, where it's like tiny little indiscretions of things. Mm -hmm. And then the election happened, and then this sort of veil was off, and a lot of white people were like, this is crazy. And it's like <laughs> so funny because the, char like, the white characters on our show are like, this world is crazy. Like the black characters on our show are like, like, hey, like we've been saying this. So it's been a funny <laughs> switch to see like the characters on our show also. I mean, like we're writing them, obviously, but again, seeing that thing of, oh, yeah, this is the thing that we were talking about season one or now. You like, guys know there's racism out there? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, white people. <laughs> come in. Come, come, come over here. <laughs> well, it is interesting because I feel like, I mean, just in comedies, like it used to be how far can we push the envelope? How can we sort of test people? How can we challenge people? How can we make people laugh? But then the election happened, then it was like, oh, there's this new social responsibility mm -hmm. involved where it's like you want to be edgy and you want to explore yes. and you want to push the envelope, but you also don't want to like set a bad example or, you know, reinforce stereotypes or, you know, sort of there's this old, whole new like floor of sort of uh, broken glass that you kind of have to watch. Also, I think too has some meaning behind it. Yeah. And not just like, sometimes networks want to have you push stuff with no sort of real meaning behind mm -hmm. it, as opposed to like, I want my art or I want the writing to actually, like if I'm pushing their boundaries, like what is it actually saying? Yeah. You know, as opposed to just throwing something out there for shock value. I yeah, think, like too. a gratuitous yeah. edginess, mm -hmm. like have it actually matter.